Unless there's like a character that's supposed to open a door for you that I never discover for some reason. But like there's enemies on this side, or maybe this is the sewer entrance probably. You know what, that's probably it. This is the sewer entrance, I bet. That makes more sense probably actually. Uh, sure, let's keep those for now. Sure. Let's leave. If anyone thinks I don't have rhythm or I can't keep a beat, it's not that I can't. It's it's I'm when I record, I listen to my voice in playback uh, due to the nature of my recording setup. Sometimes I don't, but most of the time I do to make sure that the audio is always on point. Or what I'll do is like this: I'll lower the audio on everything because everything's synced up to all to one headphone right now. So that way I can hear it and make sure there's no errors or there's no problems. So that's why like, if you hear me stutter over myself or not keep a beat, it's because I'm hearing the beat on loop in my head and I'm getting my timing off because the beat is happening at a different time in my earphones as opposed to when it's coming out of my mouth. Anyways, this is a stasis console. Need you to die, please. Oh, there's a sabotage in front of us. You screwed me. That was worth it. Got it. Oh, she's alive. Oh, you got my ability. There. Gotcha. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Sure, Scaris. Scaris, do you like this? Oh my god, there's so much stuff here! Sure. Garrus, is this better? I swear to god if it's better, Garrus. No, not that one. That one's arguably a little bit better. But we're not gonna argue with Garrus. Throw this away, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. I'm not gonna have all this clutter in my inventory. I already have enough as it is. No, we're gonna stay red for now, Garrus. I'm sorry. Where's the door? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go? That feels so good, man. Hey, it's the character that if you don't kill right now, you can never kill again, even if you see her again. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. Almost no job's worth dying over. Only Unless you're the astronauts from that movie with Bruce Willis, where you're, you gotta destroy the asteroid, or else all of Earth dies, then that's kind of worth it. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Absolutely not. Tell me more. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. Collateral damage? What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign sickness. Panic of the Disco Song? Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it. Like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. 
It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren studying it? Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. So it's a signal from the ship. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Man, I, I, I might have talked about this in a different episode or a different part of, the, of this, this playthrough, but like, if Mass Effect 2 had focused more on indoctrination, how it works, and a story more centered around more indoctrinated forces that were like hibernating in the galaxy while Sovereign made his big attack, that would have made a much better story in Mass Effect 2. Because this is one of the more interesting parts of Mass Effect 1, is the Reapers and the indoctrination effect, and how insidious it is. Like, that type of threat just would have helped maintain a better overall story in Mass Effect. So that way you could still have a story about all these different forces at play and all these different species, but like one of them or a handful of the characters, not all of them because that gets out of hand, but like a, a key, a couple of key figures are indoctrinated so you have to kind of figure out who and get to know each one of these societies to see who doesn't belong, who's doing something out of hand. It makes for a really like good detective story, honestly, in terms of Mass Effect. Or even just a beat cop story would have been fun if there was one person that was indoctrinated as like a crazy cultist almost. That would have been interesting. Uh, killing her is renegade, but also saves you points in the future for Mass Effect 3. I don't care. She, she can go. I, I just get out of here. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! Bye. I enjoyed that. When Caden's here, he says, you enjoyed that. Man, Caden's like, you did the right thing by leaving the Solarians in the cell. And Ashley's just like the complete opposite. Crazy. A few moments later. An action. Interruption. To, I, I also don't feel great. It wouldn't be a mass recording or I didn't get interrupted. Or, you know what? Or if I didn't kind of feel sick. But this is my stress relief. This is how I relieve stress. I remember I was actually sick. I'm sorry that I have dirged so wildly from what I was talking about. When I get interrupted and I'm talking about something else and I'm talking to somebody else for like 20 minutes and I come back to record, it's really easy for me to go off track. But I just remembered I was sick when I recorded part of Mass Effect 1 the first time. Just remembered that. Oh, they added a nice detail in here for this version. They, uh... They close the windows. Really fucking classy. Let's clear this place out. I was, <laughs> you guys can't see me because I don't have face cam. As, as the, the vision was playing out, I was like slowly reaching for my water bottle. Just like, I have to grab it without ruining the scene. And I was just like desperately reaching for it and unscrewing it. And then I took a sip as soon as the scene ended. Uh, oh, here we go. This is not good. Shut up, Garrus. It's the best. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, 
fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Dude, this is like the best moment in the entire series. This is like the best mass. I don't care who your favorite character is. I don't care what's your favorite gameplay. This is the best. No, so I'm gonna say two things. This is one of the two best moments in all of Mass Effect history. I'm gonna say that right now. It's this moment is one of the best. And the other moment is the end of Mass Effect 1. Not the end, Vigil. Though this moment and that moment are both the same type of storytelling element in Mass Effect, and it's they're both what define Mass Effect. You can have your favorite character and your sci-fi tropes and, and your cool dialogue, your badass moments, your gameplay. These moments are what ma makes Mass Effect different. It's these moments where you stop and talk to something or someone about things beyond your own level of existence in the galaxy and just try to make sense of it. They're the moments. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. This is this is the best. Like, I just finished Skyward Sword. And in Skyward Sword, you get a moment at the end where the big bad who comes out of nowhere, like, really stops to explain that how insignificant you are compared to his plans. And Demise, as a villain, kind of works. There's just, the pacing of Skyward Sword is kind of bad altogether. Um, so, like, Gearheim kind of sucks a little bit, but his presence is pretty good. Um, but he's kind of incompetent towards the ends of it. Uh, Demise is an interesting villain, but he gets dropped off right at the end. And he's got good presence, got good dialogue, but the story overall kind of fails you at that point. But this is, like... Mass Effect 3 ruins this moment because keeping the Reapers unknowable like and I think it could have worked like the, the end result of Mass Effect 3 shouldn't have been an all-out war where there's no way of winning except a magical device it really should have been we won but we cheated because we had to right like there's a moment in Mass Effect 2 where you talk about what it means to be around a, a dead Reaper and what that does for the story like, that's how Mass Effect 3 should have ended. It's it's we stop them from coming to us and we cheat and go against them like on a solo mission to kill one while it's asleep or keep it comatose for the rest of its life so that it's still a thing, but we can keep it comatose in dark space so that we never ever see it. And it becomes just this black hole between galaxies. Like... The way to stop the Reapers is just to keep them the way they are and far away from us. Like thematically they stand for that dark pit of the universe, that black hole where things get sucked in. If, if the Mass Effect series is about celebrating all the diversity and different species and how they work together or how they don't work together, then the Reapers are the end of that. Literally he says, it, we are the pinnacle of existence. We exist to end life. We're machines created for the purposes of, of enabling the big crunch versus the big bang. Like they, they are making their own cycles of, of civilizations falling and rising. They are, they are artificially ending and creating entire universes within one galaxy. It's the ultimate science experiment. For what reason, I don't know, but the reason isn't as important as them thematically fighting against them. And that's really all Mass Effect series needed to be. It didn't need to have a weird Reaper baby that 
doesn't explain anything. I didn't have to have the catalyst or, or, or the, the, the crucible. We didn't need to do any of that. The themes were strong enough that if you just kept it simple and you, and you didn't try to explain it in a way that contradicted the story we had already, it would have been fine. Like this the story on its own would have been fine. Like Mass Effect 1, if Mass Effect 1 had continued from where Mass Effect 1 was and not where Mass Effect 2 starts, we could have had a real story about chasing down different leads to indoctrinated agents, artifacts, Reaper information. We could have had like a mini Leviathan story if the if the storytellers of Mass Effect 2 were more like, had their mindset for Mass Effect 1, where it was more like think first rather than action set pieces first. You know, I know Mass Effect 2 has a, a big place in a lot of people's hearts, but like the game we could have gotten with Mass Effect 1's structure, or at least themes before they are abandoned for the more action-oriented drama of Mass Effect 2 and 3 could have led to, I think, a much more consistent and, and overall poignant story rather than what we did get. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What, what cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. You built the relays and the Citadel just to fuck with us? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting. So good in a line. It's such a good line. And also that that one little story detail about how you use our technology and you essentially are bowling with with rails up. You bowl the way we want you to bowl in a galactic sense. You will always hit the pins that we set up because you entered the bowling alley and we put up the, the bar so that you can never get a gutter ball unless we say it's time for gutter balls. Like, like Legion brings that up in Mass Effect 2 about how the reason the Geth split and some agree with the Reapers and some don't comes down to one point and that's we don't want anybody's help to decide how our species develops. That's the major point of the Geth schism. We don't want outside help to taint how we do things and it's very purist mentality when you think about how the reapers are innately just kind of really screwed up and don't coexist with anybody else it's more of a moral stance of how we won't accept that help to become something genocidal that denies others existence to have our own existence and it's an important part of mass of it that like we it, by using technology developed by others we become dependent on their ways of thinking that's just another theme that they kind of drop in the series overall, honestly. Not that that's entirely wrong. Like, if we took a piece of the genophage cure information from this facility, would it make it immoral to use it if we ended up saving lives? That's a major point of Mass Effect 2, actually. Why do this? What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. And then Mass Effect 3 turns that line into a lie. It's like, no, I get it. You were just either lying to me or you didn't know that you were a puppet for something greater. And it really just undercuts the entire story. Like, the idea that Sovereign is just a tool of some greater purpose, like, makes the fact that Sovereign is an actual character just completely undercut. It really is just the lamest thing at that point. Who made you? Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, 
weak will endure. It really does say a lot for like a species of machines to be this cosmic phenomenon, this eldritch horror, but it's a machine, so it must have been built at some point. Which that it's 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 such an interesting spe specific idea of a cosmic entity. It's like timeless, eternal, uh, horrific, nightmarish, beyond understanding in in scope and ability. But they must have been built by something. And like, how could anything build that? Like, it must have a beginning somewhere, but. Like, relatively speaking, it wouldn't matter because it's so far back, it really doesn't matter that we know about it because it's so beyond our own existence at that point. It's so prior to anything we would have any reference point for. Right? It's wild. That type of concept. Something that happens similar in Pillars of Eternity where they explain how gods came to be, where gods are uh, eternal and powerful and om omniscient, but they do have a, a beginning. They do have a point in time in which they were made into what they are and it it's it's expertly written in a way that's like oh they're still larger than life but like now they have this history to them that kind of explains why they are the way they are and they are above us because of that where are the rest of the reapers are you the last of your kind we are legion the time of our return is coming our numbers will darken the sky of every world you cannot escape your doom. I'm gonna stop you. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. The windows are open again. Commander, we got trouble. Oh, yes. Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign, it's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This thing is frying. Orders, Commander? We're out of here. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Let's gizzity get gone. Alright, alright Ashley, relax a little bit. Red squad, let's go! Let's go, 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 go. Right. Kill, kill, kill! Uh, I've got really nothing that's gonna help me right now. Beautiful. What a beautiful yeah, vista. Position, Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Alenko, head them off. Hold them. I seize you. Hold on. Hold off. Taking fire. He's taking some hits. Impressive. Alright, now, assassination. Surviving. I'm gonna say I, I risked the overheat because I'm like this one will kill him for sure. I can tell. All right. Do I have any better sniper rifles? I feel like I have a ton. Not better, but just like I have a ton of sniper rifles here for no reason. Mm, yeah, I kind of have a ton for no reason. The Volkov is pretty good. Uh, state of the art. High manual rate of fire and is not as accurate. Does more damage though. What does that feel like? All right, let's try that out. Let's try out a Viper variant. Dun 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 dun. dun. Do, do, do. Man, should have double tap. 
that freak. Oh, that was pretty cool. That's really great that I can shoot so fast that I can actually pop him like that. That's neat. I like that a lot. Like I lifted him into the air and just just and shot him again midair. That was great. Thank you. Hold still, please. Sacrifices had to be made. That's pretty good. Do I have a kinetic? That was better. Shotgun. Look out! They follow us. Follow that. Any second. Now it's our turn. Just freaking out over there. Yeah, just delete all these. I did it for that experience. Oh, it was outside the door. Still outside the door. All right, we have no biotics. So this next part is gonna be a little tough. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Oh no, it's, it's the next part. Nope, that's what I wanted to do. Right. Not what I wanted to do. There we go, we're done. All right, there we go. Okie dokie. Bang, 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 bang. Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. All right, we made it. Let's plant that sucker. All right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Park it over there. It's a big nuke. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? Yeah, where are you? Let's go. He's almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Can you go get them, Joker? Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Alright, don't screw around with that thing. You keep that nuke safe. It's my buddy and me. Don't worry, Tally. I'm gonna get you Colossus Armor before the end of the game. I will figure it out. I'll figure out some way to get it to you. Just have faith. You just gotta have a little faith, Arthur. You have to have faith, Arthur. This is you know, tech explosions. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Shotguns there. Guns out! 
Alright, that's good enough, I guess. Shotgun crew! The door. Pop! Pop! Alright, tally. Let's use an ability. Alright, one. Okay, shield up. It's not sitting down. There's the other one. Ow! I thought you were dead. Gosh dang it. Alright, you have to be dead soon. Alright, where's the other one? Did you get him? Where is he? Stuck somewhere? Ah, oh, here we go. He's stuck somewhere, probably. Oh, no. He, he died. Okay, because, uh, yeah, if Tally got up, he died. Alright, let's do it. Tally, you really stick out like a sore thumb. Like, come on. Alright, let's go. Da 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 crate 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 Yeah I guess that's okay Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here and is bleeding gath all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Williams! Ooh, it's that time to make a decision I almost never make. Alenko. Radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander. I, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. It's very sad. I'll say normally for my regular Mail Chef playthroughs, I, I do actually save Ashley. But I want to mix it up a little bit. Uh, just because, like, actually, I think it's more development over the series. It's not very good development, but it's development. But it'll be nice to get a more... Uh, I've only played through Caden's being alive story, like... <sighs> once in an entire trilogy, honestly. But I'm trying to commit to it. I'm trying to see we can get a taste for it this time around. This place is an abomination. Seven's research must be destroyed. You're right, Tally. Oh, that's a great shot. All right, let's go. Weapons up. Also, whoever you send with the Solarians, I think you save them if you come this way. Or at least they appear on the ship with you. Uh, there's like no audio right now. All you hear is my click clack of my fingers on the the audio ripped out for some reason. I oh man, if it actually keeps ripping out and I don't get to hear uh, dialogue, that's a big bug. Oh, all right. Let's hold on. Let's see if the dialogue kicks in, because if it doesn't, I'm quitting out. Nope, it's not going to. Wow, this is a fun bug. I'll be right back. Alright, I hear things again now. The bug triggered as soon as I got off this elevator. 
I hear things again. Alright, there we go. That's better. Spider, you need to move fast. We can't hold these things off much longer. Trying. Need some breathing room. All right, now we can hear Saren talk to us. There we go, that's better. Run, Tally! Impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. Thanks for the compliment. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Alright, so help me out here. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. Stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Peruthians tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Peruthians still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction? There's no way that's how that really works. He says he wants to kill us. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I Also the brainwashing by by just being ten feet in front of us. That's a real problem, Saren. Instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign, though I was aware of the dangers. I had hoped this facility could protect me. It's not working. My arm is twitching out for no reason on Shepard's model. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. What about the Geth? There's my arm again. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove they are useful. We must work. That's crazy. They're gonna kill at least 50% of us. That's a lot of people. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. No, I'm pretty sure you are indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Join me, Saren, and together we can rule the galaxy. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers, we can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign. Think about it, Saren. If it needs you, a tiny alien being, how powerful could it be if it can't just take on all of us right now? Come on, man. Be smart about this. 
You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers. Between organic. Man, you know what? I'm glad Saren didn't get ruined by the later Mass Effect games. Because they really could have retconned more things about Saren. But thank God they left him alone. The only reference to Saren in the next Mass Effect games is in Kasumi's DLC in 2. And it's just a statue of him. Thank God. They really could have ruined his entire motivation like they ruined the Reapers. Because Saren's a solid character as is. Alright, pop him. That's a cool effect with the death dropping in. Oh, tally, why? Alright, just start shooting. Or I should say keep shooting, rather. Got him. Not my only weakness! Choking, gotcha! Shoot him! Ah, he flew, he's flying away. That counts as a draw though, because I blew up your base. And also I socked you in the face. That's a that's a that's a partial win for me, even though you were choking me out. Go, Ashley. You can do it. Oh, that Geth had camo. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Ashley. There's only room for one infiltrator in Mass Effect 3. Just like on my mail ship playthrough, I let Caden go. There's only room for one sentinel in this playthrough. Wearing red, and that's me. I, it's not that I even, I, I don't even dislike Ashley. I just wanted to play it differently this time because I always save Ashley. Because to me, Caden's like a more well-rounded character in general, so it's more tragic if he dies. I talked about this in my original playthrough. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. Why me? Why not her? Yeah, Ashley has a moment where she says the same thing, and you can you can pull up, you can bring out how like it's like stop trying to be a martyr for your grandpa. It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. It's the same thing I just said. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Did Shepard just go... Did their eyes just go white? Relax, wow. Commander. Embrace eternity! I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. This is really important, Liara. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images. 
Locations. Places I recognize from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. And I'm hearing about this only now. Why? How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. So then let's go there and save the day. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. So who cares? That's the whole point. Spectres aren't allowed anywhere. That's why we go there. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. I like how they told Seth Green, like, hey, for this one, like, someone just died, so kind of, like, be bummed out a little bit. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Bigger problems, though. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw a mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Yes, it's very accurate. Sovereign's a reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. But the Salarians! They have proof. They saw the experiments. They know what was happening. Did they only collect Genophage information? I swear to God, those damn Salarians. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith. No, Shepard, not on faith. We have evidence. Why was no one recording the conversation with, with Sovereign? However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So now that you've completed all the, the story beats they give you, the next time you touch the galaxy map will be locked into going to the Citadel. So, we're gonna we're gonna stop it here. We're gonna start wrapping up the game. I've done all the side quests, except what maybe on the Citadel right now, if there's anything, if there's like there's, there's like two people to talk to. Um so we're gonna start wrapping it up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please, you know, do the whole like and subscribe thing if you don't mind. Uh, like I said before in one of my earlier videos uh, for Mass Effect 1, we'll beat Mass Effect 1, take a quick break to play probably Psychonauts 2 when it launches in August, probably Life is Strange, uh, and then at some point we're going to hop back into Mass Effect 2 for sure. Uh, I do have a, a, a buddy of mine, a guest, who says they're more than willing to jump on Dragon Age 2 with me if anybody's interested with that. So that'll be exciting to have a guest in something as long as Dragon Age. If anybody's looking for more Bioware related games, otherwise, the usual, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop staring. In the battle today, we will.